The Hypermotard 950 SP features a large 937cc, liquid-cooled, dual-cylinder engine that produces 114 horsepower at 9,000 revolutions per minute and 71 pound-feet of torque at 7,250 revolutions per minute. That's hefty strength, but the fact that the Hypermotard 950 SP weighs just 392 pounds of dry is really getting hyper on the Hypermotard. The rest of the powertrain is pretty standard Ducati stuff. It has a nice 6-speed sequential gearbox, and the SP has a quickshifter that allows it to go up and down without using the clutch. That's a good thing, because the clutch is really annoying, but more than that later. Pierre Turblanche's Schnoz Hyper, vaguely doctor-inspired, isn't for everyone, but can't call it boring. Kyle Hyatt Roadshow suspension is a prominent feature of the Hypermotard in general, especially in SP. For this latest generation of Hypermotard, Ducati is making the bike narrower between the legs and a little under an inch shorter than its previous overall height, which opens this bike to a whole new class of riders. Previously, Hyper was a towering bicycle with a seat height of nearly 36 inches. That makes it an uncertain proposition for people who are shorter to drive in the city, most likely unable to set foot on the ground when stopped. Every inch counts. Despite being a slightly shorter bike than previous years, the Hyper has lost quite a bit of road clearance, allowing it to lean into nearly impossible corners. The 950 generation also uses long, flat seats. Like dirt bikes, this allows the rider to move back and forth on the bike to help position the load where it is most needed. The bike's predecessor, the Hypermotard 821, had a more traditional road bike seat that tended to restrict the movement of the rider. Throughout his life, Hyper had high and wide handlebars for excellent control and leverage, and the 950 has too. This, together with the long seat, gives the rider a slightly odd riding position one that is far ahead of where he normally sits on the motorbike. The advantage is that it increases traction for the front wheels due to better weight distribution. This helps to keep the front wheels on the ground during hard acceleration as well. Hypermotard brakes are Ducati's signature brakes as they are sourced from Brembo and work flawlessly. The front uses dual M4.32 calipers that clamp down on 320mm rotors. The rear uses a single caliper arrangement that is attached to the 245mm disc. The Hyper SP, according to tradition, uses Marcassini 17-inch alloy wheels wrapped in sticky Super Corsa Pirelli Diablo tires. Sleek and sensitive anti-lock braking is standard as part of the Ducati Safety Pack, which also includes traction control and user-selectable ride modes displayed on the motor's clear and easy-to-read TFT dashboard. Apart from the fantastic Hyper engine, another part of the drag of this bike is the suspension. In particular, the Olin's trim SP suspenders are fully adjustable. The front forks are 48mm in diameter, which means they are larger than those typically found on road bikes. The Monster 1200S reviewed earlier this year had 43mm forks, for example. Beefy suspension components mean the Ducati can last a lifetime while pedaling dank wheelies and over curves.